Hi, my name is Alan Prost, and I'm going to demonstrate for you today how to put a circuit, a clean circuit, on a ventilator and get ready for patient use. Now, I'm not going to do, uh, do the ventilator checkout for you. I'm just going to demonstrate for you a process by which you can maintain um, cleanliness and keep a clean circuit before you attach it to the patient. All right. So, the first thing you do is I come up by the ventilator, and it will be coming up prepared for the patient use. So, before it's even put in the patient's room, it will be cleaned on the external, all components will be cleaned and prepared for a new patient. All right? So it came up from Biomed, it, the external components have been cleaned, but they may have been touched by some other people. So I come into the room and I'm going to clean my hands with uh, just a regular solution. Okay? And then I'm going to come around to the back of the ventilator. One of the first things I do is get it ready by hooking up our electrical elements and our gas elements. So you can just plug those in, get gas source to there. All right. So I've done that. I'm getting it ready to use. I can actually even turn the ventilator on right now. All right. So do a lot of these external things before you actually handle the circuit. This ventilator does a quick checkout, uh, electronic checkout, as we turn it on. And once it's finished that, I'm going to put it in a standby, and I can, there I can set up all the patient settings and put it through its checkup. All right, so let's just put the ventilator in the standby. Okay. So the ventilator's in standby mode now. I can get ready to do my device check. Before I do that, I'm going to put the actual circuit on there. So my hands are clean, but I'm going to put on some gloves before I handle my clean circuit. So just get some... Nice clean gloves here. Alright, so once we've got those gloves on, now I'm going to get ready to handle our circuit. And for us, our purposes, we've got a nice sterile circuit inside a container here that's been sterilized and cleaning. So in a real patient situation, it would probably be in a nice clean bag just coming up from cleaning. But in our purposes, we've got it in a container. We're going to assume the container is sterile and clean. For this particular ventilator, I need a couple of components that um, have to be attached individual to each patient, and that's the exhalation valve and the flow sensor. So let's come over and quickly establish, put these on our patient circuit while keeping our hands clean. So just quickly insert, and we can put our flow sensor in place. All right. I'm still pretty clean right now because I've just only touched those components that came right with the circuit. So we can now, as best we can, I'm going to pick up my circuit here out of the container, keeping it clean, making sure I don't touch anything. All right. So come over to the ventilator and I'm going to attach the exhalation valve. So you can just put that right on there, just like that. And I'm going to attach the inspiratory side of the circuit as well. You notice I haven't touched anything but the circuit. So I'm going to keep this clean. And I'm just going to bring these over and drape them right over our little stand here that we've got for the ventilator. Now if I need to, I can touch the stand. All right. It should have been wiped down before patient use. All right. Making sure that my Patient Y stays nice and clean. All right. Now, if I'm concerned that I've contaminated my hands right now, and I do have to handle the ventilator, I can take my gloves off and do all those manipulations. But a lot of times, we want to keep one hand clean so that I can do things like um, put a plug on the end of the circuit, things like that, while I'm doing my checkout procedure. All right. If I did dirty both my hands, all right, I can then just get another pair of gloves, just like I'm doing right here. And so, if we're at that point where we've done the complete checkout on our ventilator, we're ready to attach it to our patient, I've got clean gloves on that. I'm going to take my nice clean HMEF, attach that to my circuit now, nice and firmly, because I'm ready now to hook up to my patient. All right, I can take it out of standby because I've already established all the controls for my family patient and I can now hook it up to my patient.
and I'm ready to ventilate my patient with a nice clean circuit. So I'm Alan Prost and that's a quick approach on how to maintain your circuit nice and clean while attaching it to your patient and doing your ventilator checkout.